This is Dennis McMahon and welcome to Positively Vermont. And today we are going to be exploring something very new and very innovative in our state. It's called the Steam Fest. And with me is Kristen Humberger, Humberger uh, the uh, founder of the Essex Hub, uh, and Julian Miller Johnson, uh, the managing director of the Steam Fest. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And this is going to be a, an art and innovation festival that will be taking place in Essex Junction September 29th and September 30th, and we're going to go into it, uh, and it, it sounds like a very exciting event. And uh, just tell us first a little bit about each one of you. Kristen, you want to start? Sure. Um, I'm Kristen Humbarger. I'm the founder of Essex Hub and the uh, creative director of Steam Fest. Um, and I've lived in Vermont for about 20 years. Um, my background is in art making and also positive organizational development. And so I sort of blend those two worlds in the work that I do at Essex Hub and also with the work that we're doing together with Steam Fest. Great. Tell us a little about yourself. So. I'm Julia Miller Johnson, and I've lived in Essex Junction for uh, 13 years. And um, I came here from Atlanta, Georgia, where I worked in marketing and media management. And uh, most recently, I was the market manager for the farmers market, the Five Corners Farmers Market in Essex Junction. And I currently sit on the Economic Development Commission for the town of Essex. So, you know, my my role in this market sort of comes with this festival comes from those two places. That's great. Well, tell us about this unusual name, STEAM Fest. I understand it means science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Tell us what it means. That's what it means. Yeah. So um, STEAM Fest, um, oftentimes you'll hear the, um, the acronym STEM to refer to the science, technology, engineering, and math fields. And when you add the arts into it, it becomes STEAM. So there's a conversation around the STEM fields and their relationship to art, which makes it STEAM. Um, and so we decided that we would explore this in a much more broad way and help people um, have an experience through understanding arts and aesthetics and as they're related to the STEM fields and to pull all this together in a way that might actually help disrupt people's understanding of what that relationship is. So that's how we came to Steam Fest um, in creating a two-day event for people to sort of explore these things in a new and interesting way. That's great. And it's called an Art and Innovation Festival. Mm -hmm. What exactly is that gonna entail? So Steam Fest is celebrating sort of the makers and, and creators and, and innovation. So by having, um, by having people who are both artists and um, people who are sort of inventors, we can show the cycle of innovation through this festival. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's um, sort of a festival of process and product and um, creators and makers. Mm. So having both makers who sometimes come through the, um, through the fields of STEM um, and artists sort of exploring some of the um, issues in the STEM fields. Um, and what does that look like when we put them all together in the same space? And speaking of space, where is this exactly going to be taking place? Mm. So S Steam Fest is a two-day festival that's going to take place in downtown Essex Junction. And uh, the first day will be uh, in the, all of the streets of es well, the, the core downtown of Essex Junction. So we'll have events on each of four of the five uh, streets of the village. So that's Pearl Park, Maple, no, not Maple, Pearl Park, Main, and Lincoln, Lincoln Street. Mm -hmm. So that's Friday night, and then Saturday is just Railroad Avenue. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's, mm -hmm. that's amazing. And uh, how many people are involved in this? There's, there is five core volunteers who have been uh, driving the organization. Yeah. And there are, I don't know, 20 artist uh, vendors who will be at the artist market on Saturday. There are, at this point, some unknown number of makers who will be participating in the Maker Fair. And I think we have 15-plus um, artists and 
five or six bands and musicians who will all be participating in the event as well. And, and I would expect at least 25 to 30 volunteers to help mm -hmm. us pull the whole thing off. And this is the first one of its kind that's taking place here. It is. The first one. Yeah. How'd yeah. you come up with this idea? Mm. Um, well, it's sort of a combination of a lot of different things. Um, as I said earlier, my background is all in, in the arts, or much of it is. Um, and I was having a conversation actually with uh, a woman who will be exhibiting a film um, in this event um, around arts and its, its um, interaction with engineering and machine art and technology and all of these things. And um, it was just a really generative conversation. And uh, after that conversation, I came to Julie and I said, hey, I have this idea for maybe a festival that we should be doing around the STEM fields and art making and artists and artisans. And um, I can see what this is gonna look like and I know that you have the capacity to make that happen. And as um, the market manager for the farmer's market and sort of the evolution of that, it was sort of a perfect timing and a perfect sort of intersection of vision and um, action mm -hmm. that we were able to sort of um, uh, engage each other in. What do we call it? Sort of like when crazy meets crazy. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's great stuff. Well, it, it seems that a, 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 a lot of uh, planning went in this, but how did you get the artists and how did that all work out? Uh, mm. it, it, like I know the submissions, was there a deadline or something like that? We put a call to artists out, um, goodness, at the beginning of the summer, probably in mm -hmm. May, mm -hmm. with a deadline for late August, early September. Um, so we distributed it through that network and your own artist network. Right. Um, we put a call out to vendors for the for the market on Saturday, makers. It's mm -hmm. all we put everything out through whatever means possible, social media, ads in the newspaper. Yeah, yeah, and you know what was really interesting is we also had a lot of cooperation with other um, other people who are involved in other festivals. So mm -hmm. Art Hop was really helpful in helping us kind of look at what are the logistics of doing something like this and also sent our calls out to the people that they are calling and we sent it out to the Vermont Arts Council and so we really tried to tap into the other organizations that have some experience with pulling something like this off so tell us what fields of art is going to be covered by this oh um, well we have um, people who do very traditional work um, drawing and painting we have people who are three-dimensional sculptures um, we have uh, filmmakers and photographers um, people working in uh, the, the sort of new fields of 3D printing and um, technology. Um, glass making. Glass making or glass fusing glass. Um, so it really covers a lot of, a lot of areas. You know, it, it's either people who are exploring the STEM fields through traditional means or um, using what would be traditionally thought of materials in uh, industry in an artful way mm -hmm. um, or just really using technology to create things or to do things creatively um, that haven't quite been done in the same way before so it's really uh, you know uh, it's really as blended as the steam fest name is so it's not just the subject matter of science and technology uh, it's, right. it's the mechanics the, the the use of that in, in making art it exactly. is in some ways, yeah. It's definitely a way of helping people understand that artists oftentimes are really deeply thinking and um, creating meaning out of what they know within science or technology or math or, you know, a lot of art making is actually engineering. I sometimes refer to myself as an artist who should have been an engineer. Um, my background was in uh, metal smithing and also sound and video installation. So um, it's really seeing from a different perspective or through a different lens of what actually is art making about and what actually is looking at science about from the lens of scientists or engineers. So there's really a lot of crossover and creativity, which we traditionally, I think, in some real ways seem to compartmentalize out. And so what we really want to do is pull this back in together so that people can see 
in a different way what they may think don't necessarily go together. And will there be active exhibits, uh, people demonstrating mm -hmm. things? Tell us about that. Yeah. So the Vermont Art Teachers Association will be meeting in Essex Junction on the Friday of this festival and at the conclusion of their workshops they're going to do a demonstration or set up an exhibit which is um, which is an interactive sort of band. I think that's the best way to describe mm -hmm. it. They call it magical music and it's something that they will have coded to enable children or anybody who visits it to create music mm -hmm. by touching different objects in this exhibit. Uh, we'll also have um, a light up wearable station um, where people can create their own sort of wearable, wear it through the village um, as they go to the festival wearing these sort of LED light things. Um, we have the UVM's College of uh, Science and Engineering will have set up their fab lab or a little mini fab lab example so that they can demonstrate how art can be created through science specifically. Mm -hmm and technology. Um, we're actually going to have five steam pods. I think I should let you talk about, about the steam that. pods. <laughs> <laughs> Fascinating or dangerous, I don't know. Um, so the steam pods are uh, five inflatables. They're 10 by 10 rooms that inflate um, that will have some sort of interactive in each one. Um, each one represents one letter of steam. So um, we have a, an amazing art teacher who, or math teacher, I should say, who has, who teaches a curriculum art through math um, at the Essex Elementary School. I think it's mm -hmm. Essex Elementary, and she's um, creating a whole set of tessellations for people to be able to use inside the pod to um, to create a, a tessellated interior of this pod, which is geometric shapes that fit together with, with no gaps, um, and you sort of rotate them around. Very M.C. Escher, um, if you know who M.C. Escher is. Um, and then we'll have an engineering pod, which is sort of an interior structure, which will be built by people who in enter the pod. Um, we have a science pod, which we believe is going to end up being um, related to the science of emotions and chemistry. And um, the art pod will be art in conversation. So really asking a lot of questions around um, what does a more creative Essex look like because Essex is our, is our home. Um, and the technology pod, we have um, an, an idea around what that's gonna look like in terms of um, having groups of people activate technology together to create, to produce a result. So the steam pods are really a way to experience yes. the steam fields in a way that you wouldn't normally think of. So it's it's an experience. And where are they going to be? There's an empty uh, storefront on Park Street mm -hmm. in the Four Pearl Street building, and we're going to set them up inside that building. It's a big open space right on the street, and they'll all be lit up from they'll within. They'll be lit from in, so they'll be, they'll be sort like of a glowing glow, orbs. Yeah. That's, that's amazing stuff. I mean, it's, it's uh, um, just uh, the, the, the scope of this thing it all sounds huge. Uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I understand that it's going to be, uh, there's a beautiful website that you have, really well done, and it, it carries, uh, if people could see it, uh, it carries us through all the different uh, things that the people are going to be performing and, and the various uh, types of uh, exhibits. but. Uh, for our viewers, could you just carry us through uh, this entire fest, starting with uh, the beginning and when is it going to begin and what's going to happen on the first day and what's going to happen the second day? All right. So the festival starts at 4 o'clock on Friday afternoon. Mm -hmm. and uh, September 29th. September 29th. So that's Friday afternoon. The exhibits, the all of the art will be up at that time so people can start to walk around the village and see the different art exhibits. At 5 o'clock, that will be when our first band plays. That's going to be Billy August. He's a singer, songwriter, sort of folk musician. He'll be playing in front of the Nest Bakery and Cafe. Mm -hmm. um, and so he's going to start the music off and we're hoping people will go from there after that music ends to walk towards, you know, stop and look at some art along the way to the next band which is set up at 6 o'clock, and that will be Spoutula. And he'll be playing outside, or sort of in the garage space of McClure's Moving and Storage, which is a really unconventional place for a band. His kind of music is like garage funk, mm -hmm. um, so I think it's kind of a fun location for him. 
um, he and his band. So we're literally going to roll up the, um, you know, enter the code like you're going into your mini storage unit, roll up the garage doors, and there'll be twinkle lights set up inside there, and so he can then, he'll play for 45 minutes. And then at 7 o'clock, the band, oh, there's another, actually, 6.30? Yeah, 6.30 we have um, Matt LaRoche, who is, LaRocca, sorry, LaRocca, who is a musician filmmaker, and he is going to be presenting his music film, um, in uh, sort of crossover art performance music um, at the Darkroom Gallery yep. um, in, in, on Main Street. Mm -hmm. and then right next to Martone's. Yes, yeah. exactly. Seven o'clock and eight o'clock, there'll be, uh, seven o'clock will be Warm Water, who's a jazz soul singer. And then eight o'clock is uh, Guthrie Galileo. Um, he's kind of R&B. Mm -hmm. They'll both be playing in the, um, the center bay of the Essex Junction Fire Station, which wow. again is a really fun location yeah. for a band. And I'm really, really very thankful and grateful for the Essex Junction Fire Department to be so up for this idea. They're really, they are excited. really excited about it <laughs> and super supportive. So they're going to help us set it up with the twinkle lights and everything. Um, and then the last band will come back around at 9 o'clock to mm -hmm. nest, and it will be inside, and that group is the Leather Leatherbound Books. And I would like to say that all of these musicians are, um, they're all create, performing their own music. They are all, like, they've written their own music. Um, and it's all been organized by a woman named Hannah Hausman, mm -hmm. who is herself a singer in Warm Water. And this has sort of been her curation of music mm -hmm. in and of itself. Mm -hmm. So in the, in the middle of all of that is 21 different stops of art, the art and food that people can go to, um, anywhere from Earth Logic to the Essex Hub location and Furl for Pearl. And, uh, and then we'll also have the exhibits of the big picture. Mm -hmm. The Fab Lab, um, the Steam Pods, the Magical Music, the, the button making at the library, and the Blinky Wearables mm -hmm. at 7 and 9 Main Street. And I think those are all the, oh, and the pin, the Pinball, the Pinbox 3000 Arcade will be set up at Triple Loop Arcade, uh, Triple Loop Costume that's Shop on Railroad Avenue. So there's literally, there's, that's all just Friday. Yeah. And I think that we, before we stop there, we have to we have to say that Steam Fest continues into Saturday yes, in a totally totally. in a totally different way, um, you know. And the common theme is really like making and creating, or process and product. So Saturday is a different execution of that, but Saturday is exclusively on Railroad Avenue, mm -hmm. also in the Village, and that will be made up of 20 artists and artisans who will be selling their work in sort of a, an art market format. Mm -hmm. We'll have a performance stage in the middle of the street and then on the other end of Railroad Avenue will be our very first Essex Mini Maker Fair. And the Essex Mini Maker Fair is um, is sort of a, a, a local outcropping of big Champlain Mini Maker Fair which happens at Shelburne Farms. But the uh, Champlain Mini Maker Fair people have been growing their franchise across the state and um, when they heard what we were doing with Steam Fest, they were really excited and saw the alignment of what this program was about, and they said that they wanted to, they would be interested in being a part of it. And so that's really a big part of why they're with us. Um, and so that's going to include um, locals as well as sort of people who were sort of do the Maker Fair circuit, but we'll also have um, a young student from Essex High School who's coming in to show his sort of Lego robot hand that he's created, and he's bringing in some of his other friends from the Essex Robotics Club. And then we also have a really enthusiastic group from the Essex High School Makerspace, which operates out of the high school library there, and they're gonna be showing some of the things that they do in that makerspace. Mm -hmm. So the Essex Mini Maker Fair is really um, what I call sort of like show and tell meets science fair. Mm -hmm. um, it's really for people who are into whatever it is that they have created or they're trying to create or they're tinkering. It's all about process. Mm -hmm. You know, that, the street becomes like really like this manifestation, like the Mini Maker Fair is about process and the Artisan's Market is about product. product. And the, in between the performance stage, we'll have, um, we'll have two bands from 10 to 12 will be, um, Gosh, the um, Smoky Newfield Project, which is um, a band that uh, often performed at the Five Corners Farmers Market, and they play a lot of local folk music. And um, and then from 12 to 2 will be um, a c community coffee house where we're inviting performers from 
student performers from all around the region to come and play a song or two or sing, perform, dance, whatever between in that window. And then from two to four will be a big band called Shake. And Shake um, is made up of some students who recently graduated from high school. They're all playing at farmers markets and charities and weddings all around the state. So they play, they're a cover band. They're going to really kick up the energy in the afternoon. Yeah. yeah. Sounds Four. really exciting. <laughs> How many people do you think are going to uh, attend? Uh, as many as we can hold. <laughs> I mean, it, just, it sounds busy uh, in a very good way. Yeah, there is. I think that's a really important thing. I mean, that's part of what we're doing with the Art of Disruption is to bring this kind of energy to Essex that um, maybe hasn't been there in the past. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, part of the Art of Disruption is really to show people what Essex has the potential to be mm -hmm. in a lot of ways or what is already happening there. Well, I don't think a lot of people really know much about the art scene, even statewide sometimes. Mm. But is, is this going to make sort of Essex Junction and Essex a, an artist kind of mecca? Or is it is that a possibility? Segue. That's our goal. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, one of the things actually um, that we've been working on sort of in conjunction but separately at the same time uh, with the STEAM Fest is the Essex Hub has opened a secondary space. So Essex Hub is a co-working space for sort of more traditional businesses, um, innovation businesses. It's on Pearl um, Street, right? Mm -hmm. It's on Pearl Street, right. And um, we've opened a second location which is the um, Main Street Studio which is right on Main Street which is now a co-creative space for mm -hmm. um, artists, artisans, makers. Um, we have four studio spaces there and we keep getting this question, are there studio spaces in Essex? Are there studio spaces in Essex? And I am a glutton for finding underutilized spaces and turning them into spaces that people can really engage in whatever it is that they want to do there. So we're really hoping that um, we can begin to showcase Essex as a um, creative economy mm -hmm. um, space, you know, uh, uh, and we're also remarkably at the end of the uh, train line from New York City, so we frequently have artists that are coming up from New York who are stopping right in Essex and then going on to the Johnson Studio Center um, to do residencies up there. So we're starting to sort of think about how can Essex really be positioned as a creative community and out of that in a creative com economy. Everything from, you know, web production and development, design to fine arts and fine craft and innovation and making. So, and we have all of the learning and resource and opportunities there with the um, tech center and with the um, VTC is not very far away and so a lot of local manufacturers who are really interested in prototyping and that kind of thing. So we can kind of bring all this stuff together in a way that makes it bigger than just this two day event, which we hope is sort of a generative spark for all of this great stuff that can happen in Essex. Let me ask you this, uh, without worrying about uh, being inclusive or exclusive. Or <laughs> yeah. Tell us about your sponsors. Who's helping with oh, this? Oh, yeah. So There's a list on the side. I know you're worried about leaving somebody out. Uh, Just tell us who's all participating in this. So I'll tell you that the first person, the first group we went to was the village, mm -hmm. um, the village of Essex Junction, and we, you know, we told them what we wanted to do and um, very bravely asked them for their support and uh, they all jumped right on board. And so they have been a, a financial sponsor mm -hmm. for us. And then, um, I don't know how you pronounce the other one. IASO. IASO. Yeah, it's a local engineering firm, um, which is really about innovation and prototyping and creating new things. Um, we also have a new um, organization in Essex that is part of um, an educational institution, I think, that comes out of Shelburne, which their new uh, school that they're opening in Essex is called Steamworks, mm -hmm. and they're, they're a sponsor. Um, we also have VADA, which is the Vermont Arts Teachers Association. Um, when they found out we were doing the STEAM Fest, they decided to have their um, annual, conference. annual conference in conjunction with STEAM Fest, so that's good. We have Northfield Savings Bank, mm -hmm. uh, who, who supported us, and then EarthLogic. And right. Logic is a... It's a new company. Uh, I've seen their building. What do they do? They're a, they're a web design mm -hmm. and... And production, ma yeah. ...marketing mm -hmm. company um, that's actually made up of a number of artists. Mm -hmm. And the person who made our poster for this event is the creative director at Earth Logic, mm -hmm. 
and uh, he actually has done a lot of the posters for the uh, first night. Mm -hmm. So we approached them, and they so uh, Jeff did our poster, and mm -hmm. we're featuring some of their their employees' work in the show. In the in the art walk, yeah. Mm. And then, of course, Essex the Essex Hub, Hub is Tell us the about that now. It sounds, it sounds interesting in and of itself. Yeah, so Essex Hub is a um, co-working space. Um, our primary demographic is women, mm -hmm. though we call ourselves a community of women and friends. So we really are inclusive in the people that we um, invite into our space. We provide um, very economical space for people to have a home base for their business. Um, while they grow or while they begin um, so that they can become sustaining enough that they can move out into their own space. Um, and co-working spaces are not particularly new to um, the working world, um, mm -hmm. but they have sort of ha become a, a, a presence in Vermont. And the Essex Hub is um, currently the only co-working space in Essex. And so we really um, are lucky in the fact that we're um, generating a lot of interest and a lot of people come to our space and love our space and that we've been able to really expand out now into the secondary workspace with the Main Street Studio. So that's kind of what the Essex Hub's about. Excellent. Well, tell us now, um, this is, seems like a, a, a huge event and uh, uh, are there opportunities or needs for volunteers? Yes. We will not turn a volunteer away. Uh, we can definitely use more help. Um, we, have a, we have a link on our website to invite people to sign up to volunteer. Uh, we're going to need lots of help setting up and a lot of help breaking down, both Friday and Saturday, uh, as well as you know, maybe some attendance to monitor our art, make sure it's safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anybody who wants to volunteer and sort of be part of it and be able to sort of walk around the town and talk to people about work, um, you know, yeah. can move from location to location as volunteers if they'd like to. Yeah. And just yeah. the setup itself sounds interesting, the, 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 the way it's going to be getting together that day or so before. Mm -hmm. you know, it's it's going to be, gonna be a, a bit of a sprint. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Luckily, we've had a lot of artists drop work off already, so we're in the process of hanging work and, and putting work in place so that we're, uh, we're ready to go. You know, and I would like to say that some of our locations where we're hosting art are also people who are sponsoring us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Nest has been a sponsor, and they're hosting art mm -hmm. and music, and Villa de Wells and Company has also a sponsor, and Pork and Pickles mm -hmm. is a sponsor. I'm trying to make sure we haven't missed anybody. Harley Davidson. Really? Yeah. 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 Uh, They're not really participating in the event um, itself, but they really believed in what we were doing, and they wonderful. offered some sponsorship to us, so it was great. And there'll be opportunities for food and things like socializing mm -hmm. around. The, the restaurants are participating, I, mm -hmm. I think. Yes, there's many restaurants are going to have a Steamfest special for the night. So nice. rather than bring in outside food trucks for the event for Friday, we want people to, to stop into all of our existing local restaurants and grab a bite, grab a drink, and then walk on to the next place. Great. That sounds like a, a wonderful combination of things, community and art and uh, uh, economic development and promotion of uh, a very wonderful place, Essex Junction. Uh, so I want to uh, uh, let uh, people refer to that website. It's, it's got all the sponsors. It's got all the events. A very well done website, by the way. Thank you. And uh, we're going to uh, conclude now. And I want to thank Kristen Humbarger uh, and Julie Miller Johnson. Uh, for being with us on Positively Vermont, uh, talking about Steam Fest. Thank you for watching.